Boom, peace, intro, what's up guys? Well, I got one more custom done. Um, golly man, it's hard to get this stuff done. Saturday went out, um, didn't find anything, nothing. There's nothing around. I'm really, there's only a few I'm looking for anyway. I, like I said, I'm not buying all these cars anymore. Um, I'm just going to buy ones I really like, and I, I don't know, I may not, I don't know what I'm, I don't know, I'm going to be pretty picky about them for sure, um, thanks a lot, Eddie, yeah, thanks, Eddie, you just, you just popped everybody's bubble, man, you know, had to go say something about all these extra cars, didn't you, you just had to make a guy think about it. You know, you're lucky I don't live around you. You're real lucky. I'd be over there every time I was off. Come on, man, let's go shooting range. Come on, let's go. Let's go shooting range, man. Come on. You get so sick of seeing me over there wanting to go to shooting range. No, 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 we ain't gonna play with these cars. We gotta go to shooting range. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Uh, my shooting range is not 55 yards, guys. I had that wrong. It is um, 30 meters which is actually about 32 yards. So my little 22 with the red dot, it's, it's, it's dead on out to 32 yards. It's not 55 yards. I was thinking about that. Cause when I go to an, out, I got an outdoor range. I don't really like to go to them cause you can't get that much room, but I got one that is uh, 150 yards. Then there's one that's a hundred and it's a hundred meters which is a hundred about 108 yards and so i was thinking last time i went to the one at 150 yards uh 50 yards seemed a little bit further than the range so i was thinking i bet i got that wrong so i looked up the range i go to and uh, yeah it's only 30 meters which is you know around 32 yards but still that's pretty good um but anyway so it's not 55 yards like i said i was thinking man that is a ways but anyway um it's not so bad for a 22. 22 stays accurate for a good little range. But anyway, anyway, enough of that. Um, I'd be there every day bugging you, dude. Come on, let's go to the range, man. Let's go to the range. Anyway, just kidding. Um, but yeah, I gotta, I gotta start just picking out certain cars. And also, check this out. My buddy, my Hot Wheel Collecting Amigo, found me some cars for me to do customs. He knew I wanted to do some Superbirds, and he found me three of these. Perfect, because I don't really have but a couple Superbirds that people have sent me, and I've already used them. So these are perfect, but they're metal-based. But what I didn't notice was uh, they've already got a roll cage inside of them, and they got one seat. So they're set up like a race car almost already. And uh, so these will be some pretty good customs I can do. Um, as you see, you can see the difference there. I got... I got... Mr. Johnson, my, I'll show you real quick. We'll look at it more in a minute. But look at Michael Johnson's. You can see the difference in how they got him sitting there. I mean, I think mine is way better. Meat is tucked up in there, guys. Um, that's the way it should be. And actually, I started looking at this one when I was done. And I was like, man, I should have went a little more. There we go. I mean, as you can see, it's up in there. It's almost to the rim. Wah, wah. And, uh, but, but I was like, yeah, I could have probably went a little more because the front, I'm almost dragging the ground. I mean, I don't know if you can even see in there. You really can't, can you? I mean, it's low, guys. There you go. There's a shot of it. But she rolls. I got to watch her. She, she'll roll right off there. She's a roller. And uh, anyway, he wanted it purple. And this one, I cut the hood. Engine's in it. The engine's down inside of it, Eddie. All right, Eddie. Is that okay now, Eddie? Engine's down inside of it, Eddie. I didn't glue it on top of it. And I don't think you guys can really tell. You probably think it's glued on top of it. Fern and I was talking. I was thinking about just putting a magnet under it. 
on one of them I did so you can take the engine on and off if you wanted to because it looks good with it out with it off too I may still do one like that sooner or later but uh I went ahead and cut the hood on this one precisely all the way around the baby and stuck her down in it and it's got the nitrous bottle the shifter the roll cage it's pretty it's pretty done up in there guys don't want it to roll off of there but he wanted a purple so that's what I did this one I put pipes again but I tied them into some multiples coming out instead of just a single like I said that's what's cool about these customs is not everybody's got the same one and uh, there's only one of these the black one I sent to Naruto Wolf there's only one of those I don't even know if I'm saying that name right Naruto. I don't I don't watch that anime stuff, so I don't know. But anyway, um there's only one of his. And his actually I got a little lower. I got a drive shaft in this one. I think I put one in his, but I'm not sure. I can't recall. And I think that's what you know makes them even better. Like I said, there's a lot of work in these cars, guys. These superbirds would probably go for sixty bucks. And uh I mean fifty five for sure. But you know, 60 plus, I've just been doing $5 on shipping. So, you know, a lot of times it costs more. Like I just, I got it, you know, but usually that's my fault because I throw more cars in there. You know, it's, it usually gets up around nine bucks, you know, maybe 11 60 But uh, that's because I throw more cars in there. So it's not your fault. Why should I charge you? It's my fault. But, um, but yeah, look at that baby. Do you guys, what do you think, guys? Especially you, Mr. Johnson. And and this baby's flawless. This paint is flawless, guys. So if there's anything in that picture that looks like a ripple, it's a lie. It is not. I mean, look at that thing. It is. I painted the top black and the top of the spoiler black and the front on the headlights like it's supposed to be black. Just doesn't show up. I guess I could have done the flat black, but I didn't. the decals I had somebody who was said something about get them big long willy bars off there they're way too long you know what that's my signature guys I like them like that wah, wah. and uh, but I change it up all the time now I don't have a parachute on the back of this one I don't believe I had one on the back of the other one either but I don't recall but like I said I try to make them different my Badmans, I try to do my Badmans the same because I copied the Badman model that I did as a kid. As close as I could. There's a lot of things different about it. The Badman model has different pipes coming out of it. It has a clear hood scoop. Things like that. But anyway, what do you think, buddy? Hope you like that, baby. Can never remember where this darn camera is. I guess I'm only showing you one side of the car. Let me show you the other side of the car. Ta -da. But anyway, he's a big super fan, super bird fan. So <clears throat> there you go. And I got some more I gotta do. I know some people that wanted to buy some. I and mean, that's cool. I can make them out of these premiums. Like I said, and like I said, look at that. You can see how it, it needs that it needs meat back there. There's no meat. And it needs to be tucked up in there or it just, it just sits too high. Look how high it sits. Um which I pulled up on I was going to Raytown, it's, it's over a little ways, and I pulled up across a uh a storage unit place. Where the you know there's you rent a storage unit and some dude was pulling out of there in a lime green Superbird with black top. I mean I was like would you and it was it looked completely stock. I was like look at that thing and uh, I was driving so I couldn't do anything about it but otherwise I'd have got some pictures. But yeah see that that don't have to be changed up. But it requires oh metal base is going to be even a little more but I can still do it. They require a lot of work guys. To get that thing lowered up in there like that. So like I said, that would be about 55, 60 bucks. And, uh, but my buddy also grabbed me a, a 
Hot Wheel Amigo grabbed me some of them GTOs because I wanted to do some customs out of them. And uh, I'm almost positive this is the one Derek used for the Summit Racing for uh, JDC. You know, that real nice, that baby looks sweet, boy. And uh, he changed the wheels out. He used the same wheels I used on my uh, gasser. But this thing, just I just love that car. But he got me a couple of those I can customize. And I wanted some of these wide-body Novas I want to do a couple customs on. So I was like, sweet. Yeah, it's crazy. I went on a Saturday. Not a thing in that store. He, he gets a hold of me the next Sunday. And, you know, he's like, yeah, I found you some cars. I was like, right on. Where? And he tells me. I was like, I was just there. And uh, so anyway, then I got these Porsche. Porsches, Porsche, Porsches. I got several of these Porsches, three of them I'm doing. Two are going to be for sale. They're going to be done up in a, the nice wheels I have, those nice ones, those are going to be on them and they're going to have liveries. I don't, I don't want to tell you which livery yet, but I think they're going to look pretty cool. And uh, I'm going to do three of them because like I said, two of them will be for sale, and one of them, this is the third one, one of them will be given away, but I think I already know who I'm going to give it to, but it's because I'm hoping to get them done in time, because uh, Maple Leaf, Andrew from Maple Leaf, y'all ever watch him? Surely you do. I mean, watching one of his videos is like watching the Discovery Channel or something. I mean, he narrates, he, he does his editing perfect, he's real eloquent you know when he talks he's just you know if you feel like you're watching an episode of the discovery channel i love watching his videos and he makes some cool stuff but anyway he actually asked me to uh if i wanted to do his uh porsche build and uh any porsche and of course with his build offs or whatever you got to give the car away well i give cars away all the time and you can give it to anybody but um i already have somebody in mind i want to give it to and, uh, but we'll see. Now, I haven't told him I'm going to do it. I guess I should, but I just hate to not get it done. And, they'll, and, and I think it has to be done by March something. So I got to get going on it if I'm going to get it done. But I figured I'd do all three of them so I could sell the other two. And people seem to like those. But I've still got other cars I got to get done for people too. So it's kind of iffy. And I got... I don't have the other custom done, but I do have I have Fordsman 84's bad man painted up nice and glossy. I would have it together, but I gotta make the wheelie bars. Those wheelie bars are tricky on the bad man because they got the the curve that comes down, kicks up comes out straight kicks out then it's got the curb that comes underneath it and ties into it oh those are a little tricky so i still got to make those but i gotta and i need to do some detail on the very bottom of the base still and uh then his would be ready for him but look at that Whew. i mean this one here i could find nothing wrong with the paint again flawless he should like it haven't seen him in the comments in a while. I don't know if he's even noticing or um, notices when I say I'm doing this for him because uh, maybe he doesn't watch the whole video. Maybe he doesn't see far enough to know that this is the car for him because I ain't heard him say anything. So, which that's cool. You know, he's been on my list for a while. He don't have to watch every one of my videos to get the car. If I don't hear him in the comments, I'll reach out to him and let him know his car's done. Like I said, guys, you know, people, a lot of people may say it, but a lot of you know it's true. It feels just as good to give people stuff as it does to, to receive it. I actually am to the point where I am so glad you guys buy my cars because it helps me buy more parts and it really helps with the bill. I mean, I buy a lot more than what I, I spend a lot more so far than what I take in from selling, but the selling does help tremendously because I can buy more parts, but it enables me to do, to give away more cars. It helps to pay for it. But I, but my point is I'm actually to the point where I actually have 
uh, more fun giving the car to somebody than I do receiving because it's very hard to get something for you to send me something that you know I'm really excited about because uh, I have so many cars but but there are there are you guys I mean have surprised me with some of the stuff you've sent me and um, so that's cool and all but like I said I just like giving them away guys so Forsman 84 will get his car a lot of you guys will too it just it just takes time it really does especially now that I'm back to work and luckily I haven't had to work these Saturdays so far like we thought we were but you know it's probably going to happen before COVID we were always working overtime but we're picking up the pace again so it's sooner or later but probably be like before it used to start really hammering us when it got hot when summertime rolled around now you're working 48 56 hours a week you know we're just like oh my god man but anyway look at that baby so i will hope to get you guys you know get everybody's cars but it does take a little time guys and i got mr osgood's um but i haven't i haven't done it up yet all i have is all i have buddy is i've got the two coats of paint on it yet i haven't decaled it or done my uh you know my detail work or put the decals on it or decals decal <laughs> they're called decals there but yeah all this gets chromed gets chrome around the trim gets the rat fink decals so as you see these are just the two base coats the black on top and the green on the bottom this hasn't even been cleared yet look at that black whoa and it's not even cleared and uh i really like the lacquers when i changed to lacquers it helped out so much on the process and the smoothness of everything but uh the green is not lacquer so you got to be very careful how you lay those on there or, or lacquer will pull up the enamels and it's really tricky but i've pretty much figured it out but i got your uh I'm on yours, Mr. Osgood. It's just not done. And I got your other car I told you I'd give you. I got it here, buddy. It's got your name on it. Osgood. So, that baby's there. It's just waiting for you, for me to finish this. And, uh, so those two. And then I can go on to, you know, the next batches of customs and uh because i still got i got shoot mr deavers i got to get his done um he's got a pretty cool little 55 gasser but he actually sent me the decals and all for that um because i mean like i said guys i i try to still do people's free cars i don't always push just because somebody's paying for a car i don't push them ahead of everybody else but i do have to work them in there i mean they're paying for the car i can't make them wait six months you know so anyway um if you're if you're only watching and commenting on the videos to get a free car well guys you may have to do that a long time because it ain't like i'm just jumping out there uh spitting out these cars but I and I'm not saying any of you guys are, because a lot of you guys I've been seeing, I've seen in the comments for months now. Like I said, I get to you, I get to you. I just, I just got it. Man, being back to work has just slowed me down big time. I mean, big time, because I still got other things I got to do. I can't, you know. But I get down here as often as I can. But anyway, check that out, buddy. Hope you like it. I think Fern C wanted one of these too, but he wanted it green like that comet with the black top but i think he and the lights done i don't know if you could see it but that kind of blends but and that's not black all the way across there if you if you look up the super birds they they kind of they're black in from the edges and then there's a big gap in the middle well that's exactly how this is you can see it here you just can't really see it on the video but i think he probably wanted his flat black but anyway, um, the only thing I don't really like about this car, but it was the only one I had available to, to do at the time, 
is the blue windshield. I like, I just wish it wasn't blue. But it goes with purple better than it would go with something else, I guess. I guess it would go with blue. But uh, I just don't like the blue windshield. But anyway, it's got the nice bottle. It's got stickers in it. I don't know how, if you can see in there. Probably not. Big shifter. All that good stuff, Mr. Johnson. But again, this doesn't fit in a normal case. So you'll have to display it some other way. I'll have to ship it in a Tupperware dish. Hopefully it doesn't come apart, get broke, or anything like that. I got another one of those Jeeps I'm about to ship out. And man, I've got it. I've got it packed in the Tupperware. I got bubble wrap around it. I got her strapped down tight. Got her held. Then I got her wrapped up, put inside a box with peanuts around it so it can flex. Then I got that box secured inside another box floating up and around with, with bubble wrap. I don't know what else I can do, guys. If that thing comes apart, I just, I don't know what else to do. I mean, it is pathetic that you cannot write fragile on there. I mean, it just makes, I swear, it makes me want to go down there and just start punching people in the face. It's like, if you hate your job that much, leave, man. But that's what they do. They, we all know this. You could watch videos, and the more writing on it saying fragile, the more damaged the box is. And you know that they have to just be doing that on purpose, you know? Why else would you do that? And my, my Matchbox truck never arrived. Yeah, never got it. Uh, our buddy, you know, the guy, the inside guy we have, he done the best he could. Everybody has. I filed claims. They finally responded to me again and said, uh, well, there's nothing else we can do. It can't be found. Must be lost or uh, uh, damaged. We suggest you contact the sender and let them know. They can either refund you or replace the item, but it wasn't insured is what they said. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me, man. So I got a hold of Mattel. They finally re responded back about a week later and said, give it time for the tracking to update. So I had to call the people and say, look, man, there is no time for the tracking to update. It's never going to update. They sent me an email and told me that they ain't going to find it. They don't know where it is. It's damaged or it's lost and they're not going to find it. They said to contact you. Okay, okay, I'll get to it. I let me talk. You know, here I don't. You know, I'm not trying to make fun of. Thank you. Come again. But Jesus, man, I cannot understand them when I'm trying to talk to them on damn telephone. And uh, so I done my best, and and I ended up with, you know, I, I ended up telling him. Now look, how how do he? Cause okay, let's give it one. Give it a few more days. Okay, Mister Hewitt. We'll contact you Monday. If we no contact you Monday, you can And I'm like, what are you saying, man? What are you saying? And I was like, look, man, what if they never update? What if they never update? Am I never going to get my car? And so anyway, he's like, I'm going to take care of this for you and myself, Mr. Hewitt. And, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Well, then I get another email saying, from him, I guess, saying, um, uh, okay. The writing, the, the, the writing is correct. I can read the writing better than I can understand the language. But, um, uh, if Monday the 7th, if I haven't got it by Monday the 7th or anything's changed on tracking, give them a call again and they'll start trying to process a refund or a possible, uh, you know, send me another car, truck, whatever. At this point, I don't even care, man. Just give me back my money or whatever. I mean, you know, what is thirty-one ninety-five again? You know, I'm just sick of messing with it over thirty dollars. But, but anyway, um, so I guess Monday. I won't call Monday. I'll call Tuesday or Wednesday to make sure I give it time and see if they're going to do something about the truck. But no, nah, I never got it. And that's that's what they say every time you you know, the post office just flat don't even care. You know, so it's like. What more can I do, man? What more can I do? And um, so, yeah, there's that. But, you know, I guess this is the first time that's really happened and I haven't ever got my got something out of all the things I've dealt with. So I guess it ain't that big of a deal. But um, And again, I'm not trying to hammer Habib or whatever his name is. It's just, it's just hard for me to understand what, the, what they're saying, you know? It's like, come on, man. 
and and you know but of course maybe they're not maybe I was talking to somebody in another country I don't know but it made it very hard so anyway hopefully we'll get that I know yeah I don't know if you could tell buddy but I do got your spark plug wires on there Yeah, I like that, baby. So anyway, I guess I'll let you guys go. And rattled on again for 25 minutes. And uh, I probably should get back to work on some of these cars. So anyway, that's where we're at, guys. And uh, I'll get back with y'all. I'm going to try to get them other cars done and get them shown. And I'm glad I bought as many of those wheels as I did because... They're sold out now. Every time I get on there, they're gone, gone, gone. So I wanted to grab some more. Because I also grabbed, I grabbed this kind too. And I wanted some more because I've only got two sets. And they're gone. It's like, dang it. Dang it. That's why you got to get them. I got six of the others. I still got six sets of these left. Which are pretty cool. I like those too. But that's all I got. So so we'll go from there. And um, I'm glad I got these because I got a couple people who want to buy some of these. But I still got one I want to make for somebody. That's that's a giveaway. I want to give to them. They don't even know, and they're uh, probably not going to know until they get it. Oh, there you go. You can see the front, the black on the front of those lights. Yeah, see, that's how it is. That's how I got the front of mine. Um, you just can't tell because it blends so well with the purple. But anyway, you guys take it easy. I'm going to get back to work over here. guess I could have used my turntable, but what the heck. It would have rolled off of my turntable. So, um, we'll see y'all in. And I did... Kind of see right there. I got another display case and I put all the customs in it right there and I put some more on top of it that people have sent me. So I finally got those over there. But uh, you know, what can you do? See, so I'll take it easy. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Outro.